So this is uh, Pika OS. I've been running us for about a month, I think. And it's been really pretty good. Um, it's based on Debian SID, which is the, um, the sort of uh, cutting edge branch, I guess. Um, it does come with quite a few nice little tools. It's got a device manager here. You can go through and check out all your devices and so on. Also has a, uh, let's see what else. There was a kernel manager here as well. You can manage your kernels. And it is currently running Linux kernel 6.1, 6.15, which I believe it's Pika OS's own kernel, but I believe they took quite a few of the tweaks from Cache OS and incorporated those into their kernel. So it is running Wayland. It's going to 48.1. Um, you can see the rest of this stuff here. Uh, interestingly, I did a little video earlier of the uh, update manager. So we'll, we'll tag that on here and let you see that. It's called uh, Pikmin. So we'll take a look at that here. So with Pikmin, there is a uh, GUI version here, which I'm using. You can also run it from the command line, and it handles both uh, apt and uh, flatpak in one, in one go. So you can see here, there's some apt updates. Here are your settings over here. You can run just an individual uh, apt update or an individual flatpak update, or just run the whole thing from the bottom there. And... Um, You'll go ahead and pull down the apt package, the you know .deb packages using apt, and we're gonna speed through this a little bit because um, my download speed's not that fast. So it goes through here, does the usual stuff that apt would do, and if you choose uh, flat packs, it does the same thing for flat packs, which is really nice. So there it applies the updates, gives you a little confirmation. You can see what's what's happened, what's what. You can either decline that and just skip the flat packs, or you can run it and it'll check for flat packs. There are none, so we're up to date. Good to go. As shown here. Really pretty slick. I uh, really haven't had any issues with this. I had one instance where uh, this is a couple of weeks ago where the apt um, upgrade failed due to a permissions issue. I'm not exactly sure what that was. All I had to do was drop back to the command prompt to run the Pikmin uh, upgrade manually, um, which was simple enough. As you can see, it does the same thing and just manually when I did that it worked fine um, so I don't know what the issue was if something was maybe running that I hadn't thought of or I'm not sure so as I said other than that one instance which was a minor thing I haven't had any issues with this um, the update process seems pretty good um, it's it's easy to do you get the notifications when there are updates available um, and the OS itself has been uh, quite stable, actually, for, I was a little, I don't want to say worried, but I, you know, when, it, when I heard it was Debbie and Sid, I thought, ooh, that's kind of, you know, cutting edge, but it's actually been very good. So I don't know if they're holding back packages a little bit to, um, you know, to test them. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but whatever they're doing, it seems to be working. Um, I am up to date in the kernel six. Dot one five is the current kernel that's going around. So, yeah, Cache OS has been uh, quite enjoyable. As you can see, I've had it for a month or so, and that's kind of unusual for me because usually I'm hippity hopping around all over the place with, uh, you know, distro hopping. So that's a bit of a commendation on its own. Hey, thanks for watching. 
So that's another video in the can. If you find this informative or interesting, please consider liking and subscribing down below. And remember, be excellent to each other.